Have you ever felt pressured to make quick decisions during the Charleston? Maybe someone would say, hurry up, or I'm falling asleep over here. I've heard these stories before. But if you practice at home, making quick decisions during the Charleston, you can avoid all that. Get out your set and do some Charleston sprints. Let me know if it helps you make quicker decisions. If nothing else, you can see that if you make a mistake, you can recover during the pick and discard phase of the game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app on it. You can use any stopwatch though. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an average. If you're a intermediate player, I think three minutes is good. And if you're a beginner, let's say four minutes. Really the idea here is to push yourself and desensitize yourself from the pressure of making faster decisions. If you push yourself in practice, then making quicker decisions will just come naturally in a regular game or in a tournament. We'll say we're the dealer for each of these, so I'll get 14 random tiles and create a mock Charleston. Twos, right here, twos. Or one, two, maybe we could play an addition hand. Or like numbers with twos and flowers. Nine, three, eight, four, seven, five. Nine, three, eight, four, seven, five. Can't keep it all. Let's give up the eight. Two. East, hey. Well, no, I don't want to play a quint. Three, four, what about a year hand? Ooh, let's see, four flowers, two, zero, one, eight. Let's just go for it. Two. Discards. Discards. Oh, oh, I think I would pass one blind. Okay. We are one away from being set. All we need here for this particular hand, this would be the third hand down under the year category. Kong the flower. We've got our Kong of twos. We need a white dragon or a joker. And we've got our singles. Three discards. I'd say that was a pretty good Charleston. If you would have done something differently here, let me know. Just write sprint one in the comment section. And we're going to go on to the next sprint. Okay, fives. What can we use? Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Or one, three, five. Little odds. Let's go ahead and give up a wind. These three. 
Okay, I'm thinking maybe little odds, one, three, five. Here's a three. We can pass. Still don't have to pick a hand, not until we run out of these discards. Okay, there's a one and a five. Here's a nine. Ooh, maybe a pair hand. Let's go ahead and give up these over here. Two, three, three, nine. Yeah, I think little odds is going to be good. Let's pass these three. That's a better pass. Oh, white dragon. Three, bam. Okay, we've got discards there. Let's give up the three. Right here. No keepers. Three, bam. Pair of sixes. One, three, five, one suit. Let's pass these three. One, three, eight. That's okay. We'll pass that for optional. Okay, we've got four discards for one, three, five. So I think I would just wait to draw flowers and probably play the one suit Kong hand, which is the third hand down. Or if we get green dragons, we could maybe play the concealed hand. We have joker bait here. So four discards with joker bait, which is not too bad. It's a little heavy on the discard side, but I think I would go for it this way. If you would do something different here, oh, wait a minute. Knitted. One, two, three, dragon. Joker bait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're kind of in between. We could do the knitted. Get rid of these first. That's a little better. There's some flexibility there. Okay, now we're going to go on to sprint three. Craziness. Okay, east, two, three, two, three, eight. Potential quint, potential consecutive. Okay, let's just break these up and pass these three. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Here's four. Let's pass these. Consecutive run or quint. East. Here's a three. One, two, three, four, three, four, one. Okay, so let's give up the four. And let's see. We could play a quint. Let's force a quint and pass these three. We need dragons. Here's a three. Four, seven, one. Yeah, here we go. West. East and west with twos. East and west with twos. We're missing a two. I'm not going to force that. Let's force a quint. Okay, we have one, nine, four. Let's throw those. East. Okay, we've got tiles we can pass for optional. Oh, look it. We need to pick one, though. Let's just pass two. Okay. East, three. One of these is ready to quint, and then all we need is a dragon. Actually, what I'd probably do is wait for a dragon and then draw in jokers later 
during the pick and discard phase of the game. So, or hold the two, focus maybe on twos, because we could maybe try the east and west with twos. So maybe put an emphasis on the two, hold this for joker bait, discard the four first. But this we have down, this we could claim as a quint, and then all we need would be any dragon to pair up or get jokers for a quint. And this would be the very first quint. That would be a long shot. But I like underdogs. I'd go for it, would you? Right, sprint three, and if you would go for this, a quint with a gap. Okay, let's see how things went with time. Quint with a gap. Surely we would have gotten a dragon in there somewhere. People pass dragons all the time. Not with this particular mock Charleston, but with two jokers, I would just bide my time, wait for the pick and discard phase, hoard dragons until I paired up, and then hope for more jokers. We'd need at least probably two more, which is not bad. All right, well, let's look at timing. Sprint one, one minute 45. Sprint two, one minute 49. Sprint three, two minutes, nine seconds. So on average, I think I made it. And those weren't too bad results, I don't think. My goal is to have four discards or less. And I think one of those was four discards with joker bait. I think one was three with joker bait. It wasn't too bad. Having joker bait is okay, especially if it works. If you need to know more about joker bait, there's a link below the video to where you can find information on joker bait. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of sprints for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.